Super duper Biden supporter Dwayne Johnson has been going through the ringer over this past week or so with failure after failure when it comes to the Black Adam film that is going to be releasing actually like tomorrow. So this is all crazy. This is all coming to a head right now because Black Adam is not looking like it is going to be doing well in the box office or anything, even when it comes to the critics. As you can see here, uh, Black Adam currently sits at a 55% rotten with critics on Rotten Tomatoes. So this is not good news for this film, which is why I think there's a lot of panic around this film and which is why, of course, they've been drumming up a lot of the marketing news with Henry Cavill, who's going to be reprising his role as Superman. So Black Adam set to dethrone Michael Myers with 60 million projected opening. And of course, this is how they do it. They always have to try to spin this into some sort of huge success. Black Adam apparently in its opening weekend is going to be dethroning uh, the next Halloween film that is in theaters right now that came out last weekend. And that's supposed to be the success of this film, which is sad, but that's how they got to spin it. So Dwayne Johnson's long-awaited superhero passion project seeks to top the box office. I'm, I'm sure it will top the box office. That's not really any sort of measure of success, though, because they also were saying the same thing about films that have come out recently, like The Woman King, who was the, which was like the biggest film of September or something like that and it's like okay but there is literally nothing in September so wow Woo! great job the film from Warner Brothers and DC Comics looks to set to debut with a 60 million dollar opening from 4,350 North American theaters from Friday to Sunday which isn't really anything that amazing it's just it's just not. That figure would be more than good enough to dethrone Halloween Ends from the top spot after the latest Michael Myers horror flick bagged a $41 million opening against a budget of $30 million last weekend. So, uh, as you can see here, there's very different. There's a stark contrast between the Halloween Ends and Black Adam. There's a lot of difference here, actually, because uh, Black Adam has a much bigger budget, and yet somehow it is going to be projected to make only about another... 20 million more than Halloween ends did in its opening weekend. That's not good. However, it does look set to give the box office its biggest opening weekend since July's Thor Love and Thunder, which, you know, Thor Love and Thunder, we can take a look at the numbers of that as well. This movie did not do well overall in the box office. This is a Marvel tentpole film. Worldwide, it made $760 million. Fans were not happy with Thor Love and Thunder. People were disappointed with it. It did not do well in its second opening or its second weekend in the box office. And of course, it looks like Black Adam might have the same type of fate. Black Adam reportedly had same test score as Batgirl has left fans worried. Yikes. Yikes. So the, the Batgirl film. That was supposed to be coming out that got completely axed by Warner Brothers. They were, it sounds like they were considering even giving Black Adam the same fate. But the whole incident has taken quite a turn right now as it is reported that even Black Adam also received similar test scores. But it is going for a grand release unlike Batgirl. So this is not <laughs> this is not good news for Black Adam, and we can start to see that some of that is actually playing out with things like what the score is for this film on Rotten Tomatoes from critics. So with that being said, we're going to continue to monitor the release of Black Adam and see how it plays out. I'll probably go see it. That way I can kind of give you guys my thoughts on the film as well, but let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon. For years, we've had to deal with Hollywood's woke onslaught of destructive agendas in their films. That changes today. That's why we launched Epicverse. At Epicverse, we care about excellent storytelling and respect for our fans. Things Hollywood has forgotten. So follow Epicverse wherever you can and tell your friends. We can't win without you.